Welcome to the Footy Forum. You were there a little bit, and then they sent you, I think, was it last year, to Portugal. I'm I, Ever yeah, since yeah, yeah. Uh, Morgan you know, brought you up, that's been something that's really interested me in terms of the move to Casa Pia. Is that how you call it? What's the yeah, pronunciation? Yeah, yeah. Casa Pia. So, <laughs> how did that come up? Even before you left, when did you first hear that there was a possibility uh, for you to go to Portugal? And how was the whole experience from arriving there and, and, and your t- short time there? For me, that was different, you know, I'll be honest, because I was expecting to go to that at the start. I had a few clubs interested, um, like League One, Championship clubs that were looking at me to take me on loan and things. But obviously, circumstances behind closed doors at the club at Forest, for some reason, they didn't want me to go there. Like, I was kind of being told that, yeah, they wanted me to stay around the building, like, continue being the first team and such. And I, I, to be honest, I didn't mind that, you know, because at that stage, I felt like I needed to still be in, around, you know, the gaffer's eye and maybe get another few games in the championship and then kick on from there. Then maybe the next, the following year, probably like push on to be on loan, like now where I'm at. Do you know what I mean? So I, I was fine with that. And then I think Sunderland, Blackpool and Birmingham, there was a few clubs I got turned down. And then by then I was just like, look, I'm going to stay here. Do you know what I mean? And then the last week, I think, no, so I made my debut at this point. Yeah, I made my debut at this point. I was just like looking to kick on, and then um, I remember my agent at the time was like, um, "There's an option between Oxford and then Casapia." So I was like, "I don't know what you want to do, but I think like Casapia will be better for you because like you've always wanted to go abroad and things like that." Which that was a main thing for me, just to like try something different. Do you know what I mean to go abroad, learn a different language? Um, be in a new environment and play a different style of football that, you know, I'm accustomed to in England. Obviously, like, foreign football, anyone that watched me, watch me play, do you know what I mean? I'm more suited to foreign football because I like to play and I'm a bit of, um, what's the word, a regista. So, in my position, like, I like to dictate play and, like, be calm on the ball and I play at my own pace, do you know what I mean? And what position do you can, play, just so everyone knows? So, I'm a holding midfield player. So, um, I'll say I'm a bit, a bit more modern than most holding midfield players. So I like to come deep and obviously receive the ball, turn and play forward. And I've got good passing range. I can pass with both feet. Um, I can dribble. I can run with the ball. So I can do a bit of everything. I can shoot. But for me, it was just like, I just wanted to go and like showcase myself out abroad and then people can kind of like see me out there doing well and then I'll come back to England and hopefully kick on. Yeah, I went there yeah. and I started playing the games and there was lots of things going on and like it was a bit unsettling for me because I went there now and I was treated nice by the club and everything and um, like I played the games and, and I was doing quite well to be honest but it was just like a thing I wasn't quite settled like where I was staying and stuff like yeah like the area and such I didn't quite like it even though Portugal was nice and where I was Lisbon was really nice I just weren't really settled there so things are going on behind the pitch, lots of noise being said. And I said, I'll get my head down. And then um, when I come back from the loan, it was good for me, though, because that was my first experience of, like, men's football, do you know what I mean? And, and for me... Regular as well, physical, regular football. Regular football as well, because obviously yeah. I was in and out of the 23s and first team. So I trained the first team every day and then dropped back down with the 23s to play. And sometimes that can be demoralising because, like, you know, whatever you do in first team training, like, you're going to go back down to 23s and play for them. Because realistically, like, the manager at the time probably doesn't trust him to play with the big boys. Obviously, he knows you've got a lot of potential and ability. So he throws you in the deep end against Chelsea. And then I go from Stamford Bridge to playing, like, I don't know, back at the city ground for the 23s. is like, demoralising. I didn't really yeah. want to do that for, like, the rest of the season. So yeah, I took on that challenge and I felt like I did well. If I'm being honest, I was unsettled off the pitch. It's hard, isn't it? Because, yeah. like, I can certainly relate, you know, moving to Canada for university. Yeah. Um, and it's it's different to what you'd expect. Like, even mm. Portugal, you think, okay, they speak a different language, but apart from that, how different can it be? But everything they do is so different. And trying to, like, yeah, adjust. People forget that. Like, when footballers go anywhere... And I, I think you're starting to see it more like English players going abroad. You know, Jaden Sancho is probably the, the most high-profile example. Mm-hmm. Um, 
maybe you look and look at Aaron Ramsey in Italy, mm. and there's more players, but it's an, it's a big. I mean, Gareth Bale going to M- Madrid as well. It's a massive it's a massive adjustment because you have to get used to yeah. a completely different way of life, and it's harder when you're going alone because you know you're not going to stay there. So it's like you realize mm. that it's going to take time to adjust. It's hard to adjust, but you know that you're not necessarily going to be there for yeah. for that long. So it's like. Well, by the time I adjust, I'm coming back anyway. So it's it's a hard kind of middle yeah, ground. Did you say one. you found it hard? I like being a, you know around them type of people, the ones that I care about. Do you know what I mean? I love that. Yeah. Like I feel like, like Portugal was tougher because obviously the whole COVID thing kicked in quite quickly, and it was hard because it, like we made arrangements and such for this to happen, that to happen. And like we couldn't quite do that, and then uh, it was kind of like stuck in the middle because that the Portuguese people, they wanted to continue to leave, but financially, it just wasn't possible for them. And obviously, like, they were the second division, not the first division, so it was just yeah. really tough. And I remember we had to, I had to kind of, like, make a decision to, to come back early, because obviously between, like, myself, Forrest, and then um, the two clubs, there was lots of conflict, because I came back early than everyone else. And obviously, Forrest, like, in my head, saying that, yeah, they need me to come back. Because when football restarts, I'll be around the team and such, and then I'll get opportunities to play in the champ. Got me leaving home in the late hour, waiting in the cold in the late hour. Tell me what's the code to the front gate. Tell me what's the roles that we gon' play. To run up your clothes like I can't wait. Tell them other niggas you be out of town and tell them other bitches that a nigga put it down in long days, but we got to get a couple rounds in palm trees that we rolled on the white tree. Tell them other niggas you be out of town and tell them other bitches that a nigga put it down in long days, but we got to get a couple rounds in palm trees that we rolled on the white tree. White wine, no ice in the glasses, but you might put ice on my candy cane. 